Eclipse can be associated with your Tomcat server installation so that when you run your Eclipse projects, they can be run directly on your Tomcat server. To add Tomcat server to Eclipse, start Eclipse, and ensure that you've already installed the Java development kit and Tomcat server on your machine. It's best to install Tomcat server as a service, but do not actually start the service, and we'll see why in just a minute. Also ensure that you've already set up environment variables for your Java installation. So let's review all, all these prerequisites. First we can see that the Java development kit has been installed already, in this case version 1866. And that's in C program files Java and then JDK 18066. Also, Tomcat has been installed. And that's under C program files Apache Software Foundation Tomcat 8. And of course, the version in this case is 8. There are other videos on this channel that can explain how to install those applications if you need help. Also, by typing in environment in the search, you can edit the system environment variables. You're not trying to edit the environments for your local account. You want to edit the system. Click on environment variables. And I've already set up a Java underscore home variable for the C program files Java JDK 1866 path that we saw earlier. Additionally, I've modified the path variable to refer to that Java home variable by putting the percent signs around it and then adding slash JRE slash bin. That way when Windows goes looking for the Java runtime environment programs, it can find it more easily because it will search this directory Look when it goes to look for them. And the reason I knew that that particular file path was the correct one for the path is when you look inside of the Java directory you'll see that there's a JRE directory for the Java runtime environment that comes with the Java development kit. And inside the bin directory, you'll see the programs like java.w.exe. And since this part of the path here was already defined in the Java underscore home variable, when I set, the, set that in the path, I can refer back to that variable and just add the slash JRE slash bin to the end of that. That way, if you ever change your versions of your Java development kit, you can just change your Java home directory environment variable and it'll automatically fix your path variable as well. So once you've started Eclipse, click down here in this middle area and select new and server. You can give your server host name, a host name in this case this is a development box and all the development is going to be done locally here on localhost and you can give your server name some kind of name like Apache Tomcat 8 on localhost. Then you can click configure runtime environments. So at this point you may not yet have a runtime environment. And what you see may just be this HTTP preview. So to add the proper environment click on add and then open the Apache directory here and choose the version of Apache that you've installed. We noted earlier that we'd installed Tomcat 8. Click Next, and then you'll need to browse to the directory. So it was C, Program Files, Apache Software Foundation, and Tomcat 8. Hit OK, and that'll populate the Tomcat installation directory. Also note that Eclipse figured out 
which JRE to use, but you can set that here by clicking on Install JREs. We've already got ours pointed to in Eclipse to the JDK1866 directory. So that step wasn't necessary in this particular case. Click on Finish, and you'll see that the association shows up under the server runtime environments list. You then click on Finish, and your Tomcat server will appear in the bottom of the Eclipse window. Then, to start your server, you can right click and say Start. If you try to start your server and you get an error that says the process is already started on that port, then it's probably because your Apache Tomcat 8 service is running already in the background. To check, open up services, go to Apache Tomcat 8, and check the status. If the status is running, then Eclipse is not going to be able to start another instance of Tomcat and bind to that same port, and the error will appear. The most likely cause of this error is if your startup type is set to automatic, causing Apache server to start automatically when Windows boots. If this is the case, make sure that your service is set to manual, and that way you can start your service from inside of Eclipse.